So machine learning is technology that learns from data, from experience. Data is a recording of experience. It's, it's, it's the collective experience of organization. It's a long list of think prior events. And has this transaction turned out to be fraudulent? Did this customer buy or did they cancel, et cetera, from which it's possible to learn to predict. And that's what you're generating is a predictive model. And by generating the model, that's the thing that's been learned. Yeah. In order to drive and improve large scale operations, such as with marketing and fraud detection. Now, everything I just said, you could call that predictive AI if you want to differentiate it from generative. Also, was called it, it still is called predictive analytics or just enterprise machine learning. These are the established use cases. This is the type of this is the way in which you apply machine learning. This is what you turn to if if your goal is to improve all the existing largest scale operations are at your organization. Now, generative AI obviously is, is using the same core technology, but instead of predicting per customer or per, per product or per satellite that might run out of battery, per drilling location that might have oil, right? right. It's operating per word or more technically per token, but what should be the next word that I write in the sentence? How should I change this pixel as I'm rendering? and generating a new image. So the generative of generative AI is not actually referring really to any specific technology, but rather the, the application area, which is that it's using to generate new content items. Obviously that serves a very different purpose at an organization. And it's a bit apples and oranges, even though they're on both under the quote AI umbrella. Now AI of course can kind of mean whatever you want. The word intelligence is, is amorphous. Mm -hmm. Right. And because of that, it really lends itself to hype. And I think the hype is a really big, big, big problem, not just something to laugh at. I think it's actually very costly. But the antidote to hype is super simple and straightforward, which is just focus for any given project on a very concrete value proposition. What are the operations and how are they going to improve? And that applies just as much to generative as to predictive. So if you're going to be using the thing to write first drafts of letters before you send them out. You always have to have a human basically proofreading very much. So, you know, that's a change to operations, but you need to start from the get go of foreseeing how's this thing going to end? What's the culmination? What's the purpose? How are operations going to improve?